Good evening and welcome. Father Kennedy, Principal Passman, members of the faculty, parents, guardians, and special friends joining us remotely via live stream. And especially to you, the class of 2021, welcome and congratulations. Parents, grandparents, all the special people in their lives, thank you for sharing your families with CDH. Members of the class of 2021, again I say congratulations and I give you a heartfelt thank you for all you have contributed to our school, CDH. Your class has been shaped by adversity. None of us really saw coming until it was too late. Yet you adjusted swiftly and made the most out of something none of us wanted. I wouldn't fault you for feeling as if there were a lot of things stacked against you during the last few years. COVID, deep political divides, and perhaps the most challenging of all, racial injustice. Your chapter of history is absolutely unlike any other. You have been challenged. We have been challenged. But rather than be known by the challenges facing the class of 2021, you stood tall and stepped forward, finding ways to thrive, even in less than desirable circumstances. There was no playbook for how to do high school this way, but you supported each other and, and, and taught the adults in your life some very important and inspirational lessons along the way, including resiliency, community and the importance of relationships, leadership, and a focus on the future. And here we are today. I want you to know that I am thoroughly impressed by your positive attitudes, your resilience, and your ability to overcome hardship. History tells us over and over that those who come from an age during times of great adversity end up making tremendous impact on their worlds, impact that probably would never have happened without the adversity. Your faith, your education, and the opportunities offered to you by your families and Creighton Durham Hall position you well for the impact you will make in the years to come. Be bold and courageous. The world needs your idealism and resilience. The pandemic and the ills of our world will end, hopefully soon, and you will be ready. Our traditional prayer and vocation that we recite at least once a day, probably many times, let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God is, a, is especially important as we gather in this majestic house of God as a group one last time. As you go out into the world, you will be called upon daily to love the dear neighbor without distinction. And imagine for a moment what a world would be like if we lived in a world where we were able to do that each and every day, each and every encounter. This is our challenge as men and women of God. Go forth and practice it daily. God bless you all. As we gather this evening <clears throat> on sacred Dakota land, in a space built to reach toward the heavens, let us give God thanks and praise. And let us remember 
that we are in the holy presence of God. And let us love God and the dear neighbor without distinction. Loving and faithful God, you have made us in your image and likeness. Be in our midst as a source of love, mercy, and peace. Bless these young women and men who not only survived, but thrived during this pandemic. Bless their guardians, parents, and families who entrusted us to their care. May they be unwavering in hope, patient during trials, filled with faith, and always be mindful of your holy presence. As we commence to send them out on this night, may they be your true disciples, called by the Holy Spirit as on Pentecost. May they offer their gifts and talents not for themselves alone, but for the justice and common good of the dear neighbor. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Blessed Brother James Miller, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Good evening, and congratulations to the class of 2021. I want you to know that I am so very proud of each and every one of you. At this time, we recognize the top academic graduates. These students earned the highest grade point averages in the class of 2021 during their four years at Creighton Durham Hall. I will name the students starting with number 10 and will finish with the class salutatorian and class valedictorian. Each student should come to the altar to receive a medal. I ask that you hold your applause until all the students have been recognized and the salutatorian and valedictorian have been named. Number 10, Cherry Hope Jordan. Carrie Salisbury. Samuel McTeague. Theodore Parr. Alice Spong. Ella Klein. Tatum Evans.
Avery Fowler. And the class of 2021 salutatorian, Keegan Hilger. And the class of 2021 valedictorian Lauren Leffler. It's okay, sorry. It is my honor tonight to present our two speakers this evening. Uh, tonight's student speaker is a tremendous representative of Creighton Durham Hall. Carmela McGee has done a little bit of everything during her four years at CDH. She was captain of the swim and dive team and ultimate frisbee teams this year. She is a top student and member of the National Honor Society. She was the leader of the Sustainability Club, participated in Ski Club, was a member of the Chronicle newspaper staff and part of the Creative Writing Club. Carmela does it all. As a junior, Carmela won the Durham Hall Carondelet Scholarship given to a junior girl who loves the dear neighbor with profound joy and distinction. This year, she was voted by her peers as one of the two Mother Seraphine Ireland Award winners given annually to a senior female to honor her faith, zeal, leadership, integrity, and commitment to service and social justice. Like I said, Carmela is a wonderful representative of the, of the class of 2021. Carmela is the daughter of Annie and Greg, and her brother Louis is also a proud CDH grad. Next year, Carmela is off to St. Olaf, where she will study physics and undoubtedly one day change the world. Please welcome our student commencement speaker, Carmela McGee. Thank you, Ms. Bellis, and thank you to all the teachers and staff of CDH. You are some of the hardest working people, and we appreciate you more than you will ever know. I would also like to take a moment of silence together to remember Owen Loftus, who would, who would be graduating with us today. And to the class of 2020, we made it. We made it through one of the most turbulent four years of history. We made it through something a speech can never put into true perspective. When I pictured my senior year back as a ninth grader, it was not this. It was not learning to judge the emotions of others based solely on their eyes. It was not learning the proper Zoom etiquette. It was not struggling to find hope that things will get better. It was supposed to be the better. Instead, we got something that will soon make up an entire chapter in history books. The world changed our lives into something unrecognizable this year, but we changed the world into something beautiful of our own. High school is defined by the classes we take to set a base level of knowledge for our futures. But high school is much more than that. High school is learning about how to live as yourself while fighting with the concept of normality. 
Going into high school, many of us, myself included, were trying desperately to be this normal without even knowing what that is. We put things up against a standard that is unachievable. The one thing I hope we have all learned from these past four years, especially our final one, is that this description of normal will never properly describe life. Our last year of high school proved just how abnormal life can really be. We anticipated a closeness to our community that we had been fostering for years, but we were met with isolation. We were forced to rework the images forecasted in our minds. We learned how to embrace the paradox and socialize while distancing. We learned to raise our voices loud enough so that the right people can hear us, even through masks. We learned how to live with hope through the unknown. While writing this, I realized that every day is unknown, even if it isn't projected to be as crazy as this year has been. Each day, we wake up to something that has never happened before. Time does not wait for us. It has been our enemy as we study for exams speeding towards us, and has been our friend as we have gotten to know each other. But we spend so much time wishing it went slower, faster, or even paused, until we realize we are wasting the very precious time we are battling with. Time has run out for us now. We are done with high school. We missed out on a lot of events this year, but we have the memories of those we did get to do. High school was not a bust because of how things turned out this year. We used the time we had for good. We did the impractical and grounded ourselves in change. We discovered that with open minds and a little hope, progress can be made. Without the traditional bonds of community, we had to be vulnerable and trust each other. Not all lessons are this deeply powerful, however. Something I am beyond thankful I learned since freshman year is what good music is. The top song on the Billboard charts our freshman year was Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Currently, the song is Montero by Lil Nas X. I'm not sure if that's progress as a society, but the deeper part about music is that it lasts forever. It's a tangible time capsule of life. It can unlock memories from deep inside of us, like the song Glorious by Macklemore, which will always accompany memories of freshman year homecoming. This year was full of music. Many of us probably relied on it during quarantine or even learned how to play a new instrument. Music has historically bridged the gap between ignorance and understanding because it is the expression of one's soul. It is also one of the easiest ways to show how we are all beautiful and different people. We each have essentially the same elements fueling our lives, but something inside of us, something unexplainable, makes us unique. It gives us our own music taste, our own learning style, and our own way of perceiving the world. A lot has reminded us of our differences this year, but our differences can remind us of our similarities. We may all be different, but are we not the same because of that? We need to understand that our differences keep life moving forward. Without them, we would be nothing. Life is a fluid being, and we are all just trying to stay afloat. Whoever we are today, right now, may be completely different from who we are tomorrow. And for that, I am grateful. Change is the only normal thing about life. Today, we celebrate one of the biggest changes in our lives, and with change comes hope. Hope for a future that is filled with more love, understanding, and peace. We all have hopes and dreams for what is to come. Now we just have to make the changes for them to happen. 
If you are unhappy with the way things are, you always have the ability to change something about it. The world changes our life, life every day for better or for worse, but we have the power to change it as well. We are the future. We will not be changed, but we will be the change. Sometimes the best messages can only be communicated with feelings. Before I say goodbye, I want to close with one of my favorite lyrics by Bob Dylan. Let them resonate in you and feel the message of their words. The slow one now will later be fast, as the present now will later be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be last, for the times they are a-changing. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Carmela. The Creighton Durham Hall class of 2021 chose Mark McGuire to be their faculty speaker for tonight's ceremony. Mr. McGuire is a longtime veteran of Creighton Durham Hall teaching math and TLC for the past 26 years. He coaches the CDH math team, which made a state tournament appearance this year despite the pandemic. He also moderates the chess club during flex and community time and has previously acted as the boys' golf coach at CDH. When he is not at school, Mr. McGuire enjoys golfing and spending time with his family, which includes his wife, Kay, daughter, Claire, and sons, John and James, not to mention his grandbabies, Jack and Frankie, who bring him so much delight. Mr. McGuire says working with young people at Creighton Durham Hall has been the joy of his life. He is always a fan favorite wherever he goes. Please welcome our faculty commencement speaker, Mr. Mark McGuire. Thanks, Amy. Ms. Bellis, I so say. <laughs> Mr. Miley, Ms. Passman, Father Kennedy, Carmela, awesome job. That was amazing. So uh, you're right, I didn't really want to follow you, but here I go. So thank you for that. And you, the class of 2021, what's up, everybody? <laughs> it is indeed an honor to speak with you. It has been a heck of a year. But I want to acknowledge that you have been in high school for four years, not just one. And though you may be defined as the class that went through the entire year in a mask, socially distanced, limited activities, I don't want that to define you. I want what defines you to come out of what you do next. This isn't to say that you haven't accomplished a lot in this time before and during the pandemic. You've done a great many things already, not to mention about a gazillion TikToks. I mean, you actually made a movie of High School Musical in masks, which in a way brings me to the theme of this commencement, this start of something new. The main song or title track, as it were, for High School Musical is We're All In This Together. I thought, perfect, what a great theme to build a commencement address around. But then I realized many of us don't feel that we are all in this together, really. As if the pandemic wasn't enough, the death of George Floyd, the trial of Derek Chauvin, the raid on our nation's capital, years of pent-up anger and frustration over all the injustices in our world, the loss of so many lives, so many things, it all seemed to come crashing down at once, making it pretty clear that we are not all in this together. James Lane Adams wrote, adversity doesn't build character, it reveals character. The character of our nation, of our community, of our school, of ourselves was revealed and well, we have some work to do. Which, by the way, is the real theme of this address. I want to challenge all of us to work toward being 
all in this together. After all, isn't that what we are called to do? If indeed we love God and the dear neighbor without distinction, we must work toward and believe we are all in this together. We have an inextricable human connection. That connection, the spirit that flows between us and every other human in the world, is not something that can be broken. Brene Brown. I know we can do it, and I am confident you will lead the way. I believe your generation has a greater appreciation for each other and the ideal that all are truly welcome. By witnessing the passion and energy you brought to our community, from Leap Forward for Children, Habitat for Humanity, Dorothy Day, to blood drives, clothing drives, food drives, empty bowls, you've shown that you are willing to work for things you care about, for the people you care about. We can learn from that, and you can teach us so much more. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, Mr. McGuire. So what, it's all on us now? No. Let's work together. Well, and how do we do that? Well, here are a few random thoughts from a 60-year-old white guy that's just trying to figure it out. I believe in the three great virtues, faith, hope, and love. And each must include the other two to be authentic. Richard Rohr. Love is always hopeful and faithful. Hope is always loving and faithful. And faith is always loving and hopeful. Well, most of the time you hear the greatest of these is love, and I agree with that. But right now what we need is hope, with a side of faith and love. Oh, mic drop? No, okay. We have to find a way to give each other hope. Easy? No. Super hard. Good news, though. Brene Brown tells us hope is not an emotion. Hope is learned. Hope is a way of thinking, an essential part of anyone's ability to lead a meaningful life. We can teach, we can encourage each other to be hopeful. In other words, give each other whatever courage we have to hope that we can be all in this together. Think of the courage you have already demonstrated. You've grinded through this pandemic. You went to state tournaments and dance, basketball, the math team. You put on virtual concerts, plays, art exhibits. You participated in a boatload of activities. AmFam, Sustainability Club, Yearbook, Robotics, Knowledge Bowl, Mock Trial. Now, turn that courage into a courage of inclusivity and hope for others so they can feel empowered and believe that we are all in this together. I have faith and hope in you that we can move toward this ideal and give one another the courage to hope. It won't happen right away. Bit by bit, person by person, we can give each other the courage to hope. Through simple, small acts of kindness, we have to take care of each other. Be empathetic, not just sympathetic. Meet people where they are at not where you think they should be. Love honestly, forgive openly, listen to understand, not to make judgments. We can give each other the courage to hope, the courage to believe that we can be all in this together. We all do better when we all do better. Paul Wellstone. There is a line in the final song of High School Musical, breaking free about the strength to believe. Well, I know you all have the strength to encourage each and every one of us to believe, to give us all the courage to hope. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me share the building with you. I hope you've learned some things from me because I have learned so much from you. I love you all. Don't be strangers. I'm out. Before we present the diplomas to the class of 2021, we want to take a moment to recognize one of your classmates, Owen Loftus. While Owen died on homecoming day his sophomore year, 
he is still very much a part of this class. We remember Owen for his love of playing percussion in the band, his stubborn resolve to attend school even on days when he didn't feel well, and for his goofy freshman and sophomore antics. We know that Owen will continue to live on in the hearts of the class of 2021. We miss you, Owen, particularly now as we celebrate this special day. In just a few moments, we will invite Owen's parents, Dan and Susan Loftus, to come forward to receive Owen's diploma. Our hearts go out to you, your family, and friends. We so appreciate your generosity as you share this evening and sacred time with us. We will also recognize Owen again when we present the diplomas by reading his name in his rightful place among all the members of the class of 2021. When we do that, we ask that we all pause at that time to remember him. At this time, we invite Dan and Susan Loftus to the altar so that Mr. Miley may present you with Owen's diploma. Look at you, class of 2021. Before we confer diplomas upon our graduates, just a few reminders. Please remember that tonight we are guests in this beautiful and sacred space. And as guests, we treat this space in a respectful manner. In order to ensure that every family is able to hear the name of their graduate announced, we ask that all applause and cheering is held until all graduates have been announced. Upon completion of this ceremony, we ask that you remain in your seats until all graduates have proceeded out of the cathedral. And now, let me introduce our graduates. Etuket Ako. Olivia Allen. Charles Altier. Monica Anderson. Thomas Anderson. Samuel Andrew Jack Aaron Anfang Fang 
Gwyneth Arlinson. Seth Bachman. Nantale Bagarusi. Olivia Banis. Lily Barrett. Daniel Bauer. Claire Bettenberg. Pietra Rojas. Timothy Bird. Abigail Blake. Gabriela Blanco Bad Boy. Maria Blahoviak. Matthew Blumquist. Alexis Bonfi. Audrey Brick. Isabella Brick. Nicole Brueggemann. Michael Buck. Cabot Buchanan. Claire Bullard. Astrid Bussey.
Langston Butler. Tommaso Campaneschi. Augustus Cantwell. Lazaro Carrera Perez. Mateo Castro. Amin Shirai. Devin Chi. Brianna Collins. Caroline Conley. Riley Cormell. Shannon Cummings. Dominic Dada. Claire Davies. Antonio DeVito. Sarah Diamond. Koi Dewan. Ken Dewan. John Donahue. David Eck. Martha Enestvet. Sydney Ernster. Laura Espinoza. Tatum Evans. Marie Evenson.
Audrey Faison. Margaret Fallon. Kalina Fitzgerald. Alan Fleming. Samuel Floysend. Isabella Joy Flynn. Tegan Foley. Nicholas Forrest. Avery Fowler. Nicholas Freeman. Ryan Gaynor. Knowledge Gant. Morgan Gardner. Greta Guerin. Joshua George. Connor Gleason. Jesus Gutierrez. Maximilian Gio. Nicholas Guzik. Lily Hallman. Lillian Hanahan. Cole Hannum. John Harms. Matthew Harris. Zachary Harris. Sean Haschel. Megan Howe.
Ronan Heal. Sophia Harima. Oscar Hurdle. Keegan Hilger. Peter Howard. Jimo Huang. Blake Huber. Sophie Hunter. Madeline Igo. Connor Ingham. Greta Ingwell. Peyton Intahar. Serena Jacobson. Zachary Yonick. Eric Johansson. Daniel Johnson. Emery Johnson. Rebecca Johnson. Cherry Jordan. William Cotts. Amelia Kelly. Benjamin Kimlinger. Caroline Kitchen. Ella Klein. Luke Krakowski. Nicholas Cruiser. Maria Lucina. Michael Langevin.
Emma Larkin. Brady Lawler. An Lay. Georgia Leahy. Connor Lee. Yulia Lee. Charles Lindell. Lucas Cage Linton. Lauren Leffler. Owen Loftus. Alfredo Lopez. Jessica Lutmer. Lewis Lynch. Dylan Mackey. Patrick Magnuson. Dante Maeda. Nathaniel Marks. Audrey Martinez Stewart. Yeah. Takara Mason. Bryn McDonald. Carmela McGee. Carly McGovern. Connor McGrath. John McLeod. Ashton McQuillan. Samuel McTeague. Naomi McConan. Nate McConan. Marcelio Mendez. Yeah. 
Addison Merriam. Amanda Miller. Emilio Molina. Daniel Montalbano. Elizabeth Mooney. Dylan Murphy. Antonio Nadeau. Charles Nellison. Alexander Nolf. We in Khan V. Sung U No. Liam O'Connor. Connor O'Donnell. Ryan Admin. Jin U O. Tyler Olison Pham. Ashley Olson. Ololade Omosawan. Theodore Parr. Katrina Peters. Thomas Fithian. Jack Plum. Joseph Pope. Christian Pornschlogel. Neil Prangy. Madeline Quicksell. Killian Quinlan. Emma Radenbaugh. Reagan Rapp. Joseph Reeder.
Piper Rice. Juan Rodriguez. Charles Rogers. Alexis Rooney. Corinne Rebelki. Daniel Reeder. Isabella Safi. Keely Salisbury. Carrie Salisbury. Lily Shirtler. Vivian Schnitzer Berry. Samuel Schweda. Natalie Scott. Emmett Sexton. Cecilia Sharon. Joseph Silva. Lorenzo Silva. William Schold. Lauren Smothers. Yafet Solomon. Ryan Spears. Alice Spong. Benjamin Spong. Daniel Staples. Francis Staples. <laughs> Bailey Alexis Steigoff. <laughs> Zachary Steigoff. Jordan Stewart. Neil Stewart. Yeah. 
Joanne Stadolka. Charles Strain. Rainy Strain. Carly Sullivan. Catherine Swenson. Stella Swenson. Molly Taft. Jack Tower. John Thames. Jackson Toma. Cole Thornton. Stephen Thornton. Benedict Tinty. Carson Top. Catherine Tracy. Quinn Jung. Olivia Tran. Carrie Veneer. Samuel Vink. Henry Votel. Ian Walworth. George Weber. Maxwell Weber. He Wei. Blythe Weninger. Glenna Wethington. Kieran White. Luke Wickland. Mary Wickland.
Brian Willems. Amaya Williams. Benjamin Williams. Yeah. Ellie Winotka. Emma Warden. Sean Zhang. Samuel Young. Allison, Allison Ute. Kelsey Zentella. Madeline Zeust. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you the Cretan Durham Hall Class of 2021.